So today is the 12 year anniversary for Plants vs Zombies. On the 5th of May 2009, Plants vs Zombies was released to the world and since then there have been some amazing games released and Plants vs Zombies has become a fan favourite for a lot of people. Probably a lot of people watching this video are huge fans of the franchise including myself. So to celebrate 12 years, I thought we'd take a trip down memory lane and I'll give you 12 memories to celebrate 12 years that I've experienced in the Plants vs Zombies franchise. We are going to be also taking a look at what Plants vs Zombies are going to be doing this year to celebrate their 12th anniversary. And I do want to say thank you to EA for sponsoring this video as well. But nonetheless, let's get into our 12 memories for 12 years of Plants vs Zombies. So what better place to start today's video than going back to the very beginning of where I was introduced to Plants vs Zombies. I was initially introduced to the franchise when I got my Xbox One when I picked up Garden Warfare 1 with the console. I actually wasn't aware that Garden Warfare was a game coming out, but when I was purchasing my console, my friend said to pick up Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare with it, so I did. Once I got home and set up my Xbox One, the first game I put in was Plants vs Zombies, and I can remember it clear as day. I remember putting the disc into the game console, loading it up, and hearing that iconic Garden Warfare music at the main menu. I thought the music was absolutely incredible and I absolutely loved it, but then once I jumped into my first game, I even remember what that was. It was Garden Ops on Port Scallywag, and I remember doing the first wave as the pea shooter, hitting the zombies with my pea cannon and just seeing their heads pop off. I honestly thought this was hilarious, and from that moment on, I fell in love with the franchise. Since then, my love has only grown for the franchise, I love the team, I love the games, but that is my first ever memory of Plants vs Zombies. The second memory we're going to be taking a look at in today's video is to do with one of my longest friends and my friend that introduced me to YouTube in the first place, and this was us both messing around on Plants vs Zombies. It's so fluffy. Out the map glitch. Out the map glitch. Here we go. Look, look at this. I wonder if the zombies can get you if you're up here. Hmm. Yes. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I know it sounds very silly as a memory, however, it was one of the series that we absolutely loved doing where we could only use one unique potted plant on Crazy and we had to try and complete that on Garden Warfare 1. And honestly, I love that series. We messed about, we had a lot of fun, and we do that even today. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about iLogix HD or Billy. Me and him have a chemistry that just works so well. We mess around, we goof around, and it's just absolutely hilarious and brilliant. And honestly, I loved the times that we were messing around in the past when we were younger, and we still do it now, and I absolutely love it. So I could not put messing around on Ops videos with Logix in this video. The third memory that we have about the Plants vs Zombies franchise is to do with the Plants vs Zombies 2 It's About Time dev diaries that we used to get on YouTube when we was getting a new update to the game. I always looked forward to these dev diaries releasing. Obviously they were very very silly but they did give you some details and information about what to expect in the next update. I always thought these dev diaries added more of a personal touch from the studio to the fans of the franchise but also kept that humorous touch to it as well. Of course, Plants vs Zombies is a franchise that doesn't take itself too seriously, so the fact that the developers could be silly and could be goofy in these dev diaries was something that we didn't see within game studios at the time, and honestly, to me, that was very appealing. It made it very personal to the fans, and it was something that I think a lot of people enjoyed. Hashtag bring back the dev diaries. Now while we were discussing the personal connection between the developers and the fans, we're going to move over to number four, 
which is the live from PopCap streams, which started when Garden Warfare 1 was released. I think they were on a lower quality budget when they started doing these live streams, and that's when I was introduced to the developers in the first place. However, later on in the first year of the franchise, they then had an amazing studio built which was absolutely incredible. These streams usually happened on a Friday and were about an hour long, but it was really fun. We got to see them playing the games and having a lot of fun. We also got a chance to see some sneak previews of what was coming in the future. And they also incorporated a lot of fans things as well, such as fan art or comments or questions or things like that. It was honestly really fun. And I think a lot of people who watch live from PopCap will 100% agree with me on this. My fourth memory is of course to do with the live from PopCap live streams. However, my fifth one is still related to the live from PopCap streams where they actually showcased a special video that I made for them. It almost brought Gary Clay to tears and in doing so, they actually gave me a custom PlayStation 4. I still have this PlayStation 4 to this date. I'm going to cherish it for the rest of my life. It is super rare, but if you guys don't know, it is a PlayStation 4 with a custom Garden Warfare 1 case around it. It has some concept art of the scientist and a garlic drone. And along with that, we also got the controller as well. To me, because Plants vs Zombies is a franchise that I absolutely love, this is a priceless item that I will never ever get rid of. It's one of the most prized possessions I have in the Plants vs Zombies franchise. And honestly, just the gesture of them sending this to me for the video I made, not gonna lie, almost brought me to tears. Moving over to my sixth memory, we are going to be going back to Plants vs Zombies 2, which is an amazing game, has a lot of amazing plants, amazing worlds, but one part which I absolutely love, but I feel went under the radar a little bit, was the Zen Garden. I absolutely loved how you could plant all your little plants and then you'd get the little bee called Bernie who would fly down and fertilize all your plants and then go to sleep for a little bit. I absolutely loved that. I love the bee when you just come in and it just buzzes around and you can choose a plant for him to fertilize. Little things like that make a huge difference and honestly, I found that bee to be absolutely adorable and I absolutely love that being in the game. I feel that even though the Zen Garden is a continuation from the original Plants vs Zombies, it doesn't get enough love and that's why I have put it on this list. So now that we are halfway through today's video, we're gonna take a little pause and I'm gonna let you know exactly what's happening in Plants vs Zombies 2 to celebrate their 12th anniversary. And the theme for it is they're going to be celebrating the roots. And they're going to be doing that by putting the spotlights on a lot of the original plants that you've come to know and love over the years since Plants vs Zombies has been around. Of course, there are going to be some birthday themed things happening in Plants vs Zombies 2. You are gonna be able to see the kick tank and birthday zombies in arena and they would have been available from monday the 26th of april so you would have already been going up against birthday zombies and the cake tank in arena for a few days now however there is a lot more happening in plants vs zombies 2 to celebrate the roots first of all there will be a 14 day anniversary calendar where you can log on every single day and get yourself a reward that will be starting today may the 5th and going up to may the 19th each day you can log on and get yourself a reward Ward, which will give you seed packets to level up iconic plants. That is the pea shooter, the walnut, the potato mine, the cherry bomb, the cabbage pult, and also the sunflower. Six of the most iconic plants in Plants vs Zombies, you're going to be able to get a bunch of seed packets to level them up and make them stronger. If you're not able to jump on every single day and get those rewards, you will also have a free birthdays present in the store which you can pick up and also grab yourself some seeds for the classic iconic plants that I did just mention. So if you can't log on every day to get those daily rewards, you can pick up a free birthday present in the store. Not only that, there's also going to be a birthday perk in the Penny's Pursuit mode. It's only going to be unique for the birthday's event, so make sure you check it out while you can. And it's a perk that will turn zombies into birthday zombies. And not only that, there are also going to be birthday bundles in the store where you can level up your all-time love plants with bundles 
and pinatas. So that is everything happening in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Hopefully, guys are looking forward to it. Make sure you do make use of those anniversary calendar rewards that you can pick up every day from May the 5th until May the 19th. But that's what's happening in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Let's get back to number 7 of my memories. So my seventh memory for Plants vs. Zombies is actually visiting the Plants vs. Zombies studio. Of course, I've been a massive fan of the franchise since 2014, and it was only in 2019 I got the opportunity to go and visit the studio. I have had other opportunities in the past, but unfortunately I didn't have a passport, so 2019 was the first time I officially got to go to the studio and meet a bunch of the team. Not only did I go to the studio in Vancouver to check out Battle for Neighborville. I also went to Seattle to check out Plants vs. Zombies 2 and the team working on that game. I ended up spending a full day with the team. We even went out to lunch and it was amazing. It's just great to connect to the people behind these amazing games and you just get to know them on a more personal level. Now, this isn't a memory that relates to everybody, but I know plenty of people have been able to visit the studios in the past. And for me, it's a special memory that will hold a place in my heart. The next memory Memory, however is one that a lot of you will be able to relate to and that is my top five series probably one of my most popular and requested series on the channel if you guys do not know i did a top five series of my characters abilities a whole bunch of different things on plants vs zombies although it is based on an opinion a lot of people either very much agreed or very much disagreed with me on that series but it was always something which could build up discussions and get a lot of people involved in the comments even now i get requests of if i'm going to do another top five since things have changed since i made the original top five and it's something we may go back to at some point but it is definitely something which a lot of people loved on the channels and it's something which i absolutely loved making as well going back to the original games themselves though i absolutely loved the puzzles and collectibles that you was able to do in the game which is taking the number nine spot on this list i've always loved trying to find secrets and do puzzles and work things out that is something i absolutely love and not only did we get these puzzles and collectibles in the garden warfare franchise and also battle for neighborville and it was heavily done on battle for neighborville which i actually loved i also loved the puzzles that we got in plants vs zombies heroes there was always that puzzle on i believe a wednesday in plants vs zombies heroes where you was given a certain amount of cards there was already some zombies or plants on the board and you had to make your moves in the correct order to win that challenge it was a little bit difficult and it did take some brain power however those are the kind of challenges i love the 10th memory on today's list is the everlasting crown from garden warfare 2 which if you don't know is a crone that talks to you as you do certain things in the game. Now alone this is an amazing cosmetic to have on your characters, but what makes this even more special is it's something that was mentioned and suggested in Live from PopCap when God of Warfare 1 was out. So they specifically took feedback from the fans on the Live from PopCap live streams and added it into garden warfare 2 which is absolutely amazing if you guys have not already unlocked this crone you definitely need to it's amazing and the fact that the community suggested it and they added it in the next game is just incredible the penultimate memory for me about plants vs zombies which makes it so unique is the cosmetics in the game of course it doesn't take itself too seriously so it can go ridiculously silly and humorous with its cosmetics and that's one of the things which we love about the game you can be silly with your costumes in plants vs zombies 2 you have many silly cosmetics in the console franchise as well it's just one of the best things about plants vs zombies there's not many games you can run around as a burger and go and shoot people you can do that in plants vs zombies need i say more and the 12th memory which is impossible for me to not include on this list is my Plants vs Zombies parody, which is my most popular video 
on my YouTube channel. People still listen to it this day and want me to make another one. Unfortunately, I can't play the parody in today's video due to copyright, but if you haven't already listened to it, go check it out. We made it in, I believe, September of 2014, so it's a very old parody back when Dylan was a wee little boy. I'm not Scottish, but you get the drift. That parody is basically one of the definitions of my channel. I absolutely love it. You guys love it as well, so go listen to it. Go have some nostalgic feels. Well, there we go, guys. That is my 12 memories or 12 favorite moments of Plants vs. Zombies. It's 12 years to the day that the game was released. Holds a special place in my heart, holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts, and I've made a lot of friends through this franchise. Nonetheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do drop a like down below. Let me know your favorite memories in the comments and I will catch you all in another video.